Stop by situationalessentials.com and get you a pair of Giorgio Lamar socks for only $5. Only $5 at situationalessentials.com. What's good, y'all? I'm back in this bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I came back to YouTube. I fucking miss it every single last one of y'all i promise i do i didn't think i would but i do <laughs> i miss all of y'all i miss all of y'all i've been still doing videos fuck my bad i've been still doing videos um here and there on my instagram and my facebook mostly and i was like you know YouTube, hmm, because I've been still on my account and shit and putting stories up and stuff like that, but as far as this video activity, it's zero, and now I'm back, <laughs> I'm back bitches, I am back, I am here, I honestly just, you know, said I just miss uploading videos on YouTube and just talking my shit. And although I'm not getting paid, who cares? You know, they demonetized my page a long time ago. And I was still doing videos. And, you know, I was just mad, y'all. Let me tell y'all, I was mad. Um, right now, today, I'm still getting copyright infringements from videos I did a long time ago, bitch. <sighs> 11 years on YouTube. 8 months since I've been gone and said I quit. I came back for y'all. I came back for y'all because, and for myself, I ain't even gonna lie, for myself, y'all might, I like my therapy, and I like to do stuff, and I just miss sharing my life with y'all, you know, and I had my little moment, you know, eight months was a long time. I'm getting rid of this double chin. I am vegetarian. Well, I'm pescatarian. I have turned into a pescatarian, but I start off as a vegetarian, so I don't even eat meat no more, y'all. Um, it's a lot changed. Uh, my little sister's finna get married next week. I'm a bridesmaid, and I'm gonna be looking so cute. And um, she just had a baby. I have a new nephew. He is so cute. I'm gonna show you guys him. Look at him. His name is Logan, but I call him Bolo, um, short for Bougie Logan, because he had his mama throwing up everything that she ate. He was just so bougie. He didn't like nothing. He didn't even like water, y'all. What baby don't like H2O? Really, dude? H2O? I was like, this baby is bougie as fuck. He is so bougie. She couldn't catch a break. At first, we just thought, okay, it was just morning sickness in the in the beginning stages of her pregnancy. But he had her throwing up throughout her whole damn pregnancy, damn near. So, Bougie Logan Bolo is what I call him, short for Bougie Logan. And I am so in love with him. And I just a lot has changed, y'all. A lot has changed, but I'm still the same, G. <laughs> I'm still the same, G. Just a little bit more wiser and mature because I'm not going there with people. I'm not going back and forth with people anymore, you know. And it's been great to not let shit fuck up my energy. My energy has been positive and on a whole nother level lately. And I'm going to tell you guys why. I've been meditating and doing a lot of prayer and just... I'm going to tell you. Hold on. Hold on. Pause for the calls. Y'all know how I go. I miss y'all. <laughs> I miss y'all. I dead, dead serious ass miss y'all. So I got into something called singing bowls. They're like from Tibet. 
most people call them Tibetan singing bowls. They're like handmade bowls that uh, Tib- Tibetans use to uh, basically relax you. You know, it relaxes your body. It gives you some type of sound healing. It reaches your seven chakras. And um, depending on uh, the vibration of the sound, it gives it gives different uh, tunes. Um, I can get into this real deep, y'all. But I, it's just something that helps me relax and helps a lot of people relax. And I bought me a set of three. And I'm going to show you guys how it goes. You know, just a little something real quick. And, um... Hopefully you can get some type of vibration through this, you know, and it's through sound. <laughs> some people would compare it to a bell, <laughs> but this is what it looks like, and it's not a bell. Um, it sounds like a bell if you hit it or whatever, but this is just like the little wooden thing that goes around it or whatever. But, um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do this here real quick for y'all. Supposed to get some type of sound healing through that tune. And the vibrations of the sound hits basically... Uh, parts of your seven chakras and I can go for a, a minute y'all I can do this thing for a long time so I'm gonna add this to my channel um, sound healing <laughs> to my channel and there's also different notes too and I have three of them this is the largest one I have I have one that's a little bit smaller than this and one that's a little bit smaller than that so a set of three different notes and different sounds and it basically heals my spirit and you know grounds me and my energy is so positive and I'm basically relaxed you know it calms me I have anxiety uh, that's another thing that changed I had like bad anxiety attacks lately and um i have um the whole covid thing i have bad anxiety you know when i'm out so you know i did get vaccinated you know i get my second one on the 22nd so um i don't give a fuck i'm just trying to stay safe and um i'm in panic attacks not anxiety attacks. I said anxiety attacks, but panic attacks. I'm just trying to stay safe for me. I just know that it'll help my anxiety. Because now when I go out with my mask on, I'm not bugging about other motherfuckers who not wearing their mask. And if they not standing six feet. And if I'm not standing six feet, you know. I'm not doing all this. My mind ain't doing all that. It, it, it's a mind thing, Y'all, this wig, I got a video coming out about this wig. This wig is everything, honey. I think the best wig ever that I ever did a review on out of all the wigs. Well, just check out the video. You'll get my opinion on this wig. But my anxiety has been through the roof since COVID. And so, you know, the singing bowls relaxes me. I meditate. I listen to a lot of classical music. And I also listen to a lot of sound effects like the beach and, you know, just things like that. It's a lot of things. Like, even my gap, y'all, since um, I'm getting older, my gap has been getting wider. I always had a gap, but never this wide. I'm about to change that shit. I'm going to get a visa line because I'm not with the spread another gap shit anymore because I was cool with the regular gap. But now it's spreading, and I don't want it to spread no further. It's it's too far for me already, and it's just not something I'm with. So Invisalign is on the way. It's going to be me talking a different type of way. You might hear me hissing, you know, through the shit, but it's on the fucking way, you know. I'm just saying. Y'all gonna be prepared for that. But I'm glad to be back, y'all. I'm still in the relationship. 
we're going on five years. Um, so we've been together for four years and five months. Um, relationships get kind of hard after three years, I can say. Um, but we get through most of our issues, like, you know, a G, I can say. So it's a good relationship, <laughs> the best relationship I've ever been in. And that's all the time. That has never wavered since we got together. You know, I always get flowers. He treats me like a queen. You know, we he's not used to me being popular. And I would think that he'll be used to me being popular or whatever. But he's not used to that. And a regular guy is... I, when, when it, let me tell y'all something. I never said anything about this. This is some shit that happened back a while ago back when B Simone said something about uh, a popular influencer dating like a regular guy they're not gonna understand like our lives and she said she went and dated nine to five or whatever um I get it being in this relationship because he don't understand uh he's not a social media person he don't be online because he work all the time and i love that i love that no bitches can't go look him up and try to add him i don't have to worry about bitches in his inbox i don't have to worry about nothing like that so he don't understand social media he's those types and it's kind of like my mom because back then my mom didn't understand social media she used to be like you always on the computer and this and that she didn't understand it back then but um i think she get it now because she's on facebook too but she don't be on it like that you know but she understand it so that's normal so i got what b simone was saying but i'm not picky though like b simone b simone won't date now the fireworkers i would date them even though they don't understand our lives they're gonna have to get to understand it period because the only thing I'm going to do is change for the better. And he understands that. And that's why he supports me and whatever I do. He just don't get it. <laughs> that's all. But um, I just love the fact that um, he, we're growing together. I guess I can say that. He gets me. I get him. The chemistry has never been off. The romance, like I said, always get gifts and flowers and stuff. And he supports me. When I got my surgery, y'all, because I did get a surgery, that's new. When I, damn, I arched my eyebrows real good. I just arched my eyebrows yesterday, y'all, but it kind of looked good. But um, when I got my surgery, y'all, I got it on December the 7th, 2020. It was my Christmas gift last year. And... This is my fifth, my fifth surgery, like I said. I'm high, y'all, so. And the cornea, as you can see, um, the cornea, when it rejected, like, the whole black part within the gray circle, that part was all gray. And then he cut the, um, where you see the black part out. He cut the cornea, and I have the donor cornea inside that. He left some of the gray. That's why you see the ring right there around my eyes, and you see the stitches on the outside of the gray. So he left some of the gray on my cornea, so the chances of it rejecting is low, and uh, we think this is going to be a successful surgery. Um... This fifth surgery was done by a different doctor who, the doctor who performed my first four surgeries recommended. And he recommended this doctor because this doctor has a real good reputation, obviously. And I understand because I never got to see as good I, as I can see now out of all four of my surgeries. I was never able to see good as I could. Now, although I'm still healing, I'm still healing because I got the surgery on December the 7th. So, uh, five months, we can say, uh, going on six. And I'm still healing. And my vision is a little bit blurry. And the donor tissue that the doctor used... 
uh, the donor was basically nearsighted. And so I am nearsighted since I have his cornea, his or her cornea, because I don't even know. Um, but now I'm nearsighted because the cornea that I have uh, is nearsighted. And so I go next week to get some glasses. And hopefully, after that, everything would be good and it won't reject, but we don't know. So we're just like on a wait and see type of thing. So we all know that this cornea is gonna do good. Like we know that and I know it and that's the only thing that matters. Cause let me tell y'all what happened. Okay, I had my surgery the next day he took the patch off my eye, okay? I had to wait another two weeks to go back for my follow-up after my surgery. So, when I went and he put, like, this lens to my eye, you know, it has, like, different types of um, prescriptions in it, you know, so you would know uh, what type of glasses that you would get. So he put like different types of lens to my eye. And when he put this certain lens to my eye, I just busted out crying. I saw so crisp. It was so uncontrollable, y'all. Like the doctor couldn't control me. My man couldn't control me. Um, my man took care of me when I got the surgery. Let me just say that he took damn good care of me when I got the surgery. And, um, the doctor was just like, it's a Christmas miracle. And yes, it has been a Christmas miracle. Something that I never experienced. Because, hell, I don't even believe it. You know, Christmas like that. My mama had, you know, us growing up as Jehovah Witnesses. So, we ain't even fuck off with Christmas at all. That was just something they wouldn't do. But, it was just, you know, a miracle. It just happened to be around Christmas or whatever and so it's only been six months like I said and we're gonna continue to pray that it don't reject y'all do a little prayer for me tonight or whenever you do pray or whatever so it won't reject hey babe. so that's another change and I'm gonna um just let y'all know whatever is gonna go on from now on i know y'all missed out on eight months worth of stuff and i just quit on y'all like that but i apologize because <laughs> i don't mean it at all i really got like a good break and i just miss y'all you know what i'm saying i still like was doing my thing but i just you know didn't have to even worry about youtube like that and so it was like okay I done quit YouTube. I can go ahead and come back because it's all good. They don't got to pay me shit. I just do my thing still. Period. You know? I also got to say, though, I got another chance to get my shit back up and and um running and shit. So, they told me I had to, you know, go through my videos and you know, delete some of them or whatever. I'm not going to delete them. I'm just going to unlist them holes for a little bit. And just go on here to play by their rules and shit. Then I'm going to tie my shit again. So my man just came home. Got me some food. I gotta go. I love y'all. I'm back. Ask me whatever you want to ask me. Any question you want to ask me, I got you. This your girl, yes. Still I'm riding this way for you. All my girlfriends, they disapprove. But you are. You're my peace of mind. 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 Oh, Why, why, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Nina, let me tell you something. Say, Lord, I'm nice. So, so 
nice, so nice, so nice. They never catch a vibe that felt so right. How many I'm not around, I close my eyes and fantasize. But still I love him sweet, so sweet, so sweet, so sweet. Anytime him pass, he skip me teeth. Him and the melody and him at the beat. So quick, we need